So, what are we doing today? Well, we're moving the chickens to their final house. And uh, I had to move this uh, big chicken house slash cow protein tub out of the back field because I'm pretty sure I saw a bobcat enter the drip barn. So, <laughs> I don't want the chickens right next to where there's a, a wild cat. Anyway, um, it was raining earlier today, but it turned out to be a really beautiful day. So anyway, this is, you know, kind of a progress report on the chickens. Um, I have the smaller ones in here. So it took me all day to uh, move this. Not all day, but it took me a good portion of the day since it rained this morning. And uh, I had to move this structure and then put down a new bedding and hook up their waters. As you can see, this is where four of the protein tubs would go for the cows. So the cows would come up and these boards would hold the different these boards here would hold the different tubs in place it worked out really well because i could uh just unload them from the back of my pickup truck since they weigh about 200 pounds each and here's an example of the other chicks that i uh i've never had a water like this where it drips i'm hoping that they figure it out but uh they're, you know, they kind of peck at everything, like that one in the corner, pecking at the wall. So these are the bigger birds. For some reason, because of the hatching rate, or perhaps maybe the breed, they, uh, there's definitely like two flocks almost, the bigger birds and the smaller ones. So, yeah, that one's a rooster right there, the one pecking at the other one. You can already see his comb developing, so... I'm hoping the majority of these are hens. So just to give you a better uh, view of the structure, it's a pretty big structure actually. Um, I put it on skids. I had somebody give me those yellow pipes that you see down there. And uh, I hooked a rope to it and dragged it with the truck. Although it, I believe it can be dragged with the ATV, but it was kind of there for a little while and kind of stuck in mud. So I, w I didn't want a chance ripping the legs off that are stuck in the pipe, that plastic pipe. So I need to, uh, I need to hook up the, the geese house, which is really a hen house, but they're enjoying it. I need to hook. I need to set that on uh, on the yellow pipes as well, so I can have everything maneuverable. I, it's really nice to have things on skids. So if you're thinking about building something and not really sure where it where it may be, or it might be in the way for some other construction, or or even backing a trailer up or something like that, it's great to have things on skids because you, it gives you a whole lot of maneuverability as far as planning goes because trust me your plans can change anyway um i hope you all have a great day and i hope the weather's cleared up if it was at all rainy for you because it's a uh, it's a beautiful day out there for me it turned out to be beautiful of course that's dylan following me around and picture of the lake or so as you can see the trees are greening up it's becoming spring Anyway, that's what we're doing today.